Hello and welcome once again to the Herbalist Apothecary. I'm Stephen Jorgensen, Herbalist. Um, it's now November and um, we've had a, a whole cycle of the year here. I moved in uh, here last year in December so I sort of started to mark out what I needed to plant and what sort of um, things would grow properly here more, uh, more to the point. Um, I've found that absolutely anything that I've put into the ground, it's really good soil, um, has just taken off really well. Um, it's established itself very, very quickly and um, it's given some incredible medicine for uh, all of you and for um, not just physically but emotional medicine um, and it's also been very good as well because it's uh, provided a place for me and a space that I can um, teach and pass on all this knowledge um, from. Um, it's been very comfortable, I think everyone's been very happy here and I've been incredibly happy to invite so many wonderful people um, to the Herbalist Apothecary. Um, it's coming now to the time from when we started back in springtime and um, really clearing all this out um, and digging and putting in the paths and digging out the borders. Um, it has done a complete cycle so the whole weed of the year has come back to winter time. Um, and through that time we've put seeds into the ground, we've grown plants from uh, absolute scratch. We've even harvested our own seeds uh, this year from some of the uh, calendula, from the aconite, from lots and lots of different things, from nettle and um, lemon balm. And um, we've uh, used all that so we can plant it up next, use all that to be planted up next year with the students. Um, Talking about the wheel of the year, so from um, the very, very start from the spring nettles for tonics and cleavers that we talked about back, way, way back in March there, um, uh, when I taught you how to make nettle tea um, and talked about cleavers being anti-lithic and for cancer and all the rest. Um, it's been such a pleasure um, being able to pass this stuff on to you um, and hopefully you would have been able to use some of the some of the videos to make your lives a little bit better and to sort of like heal things and nourish your bodies when um, that's all you need when it's grown right on, on on your doorstep so why wouldn't you use it and use mother nature and the plant energy and its incredible nutrients and uh, what it gives your body is amazing but now we're in to winter time and this is a time when we start using the parts of the plants which are not really um, seen um, usually um, by people. So we, this is the time we start harvesting roots, um, uh, bark, um, so we have here, we have here, this here is um, a wild plum, an American plum, and this bark uh, will be harvested um, from parts of the plant. There are some um, pieces of it here which have um, grown and blown down and you can see if there are huge branches of it that have been blown down in storms. So we can use that stuff as opposed to cu cutting into um, the trees that are actually still living and breathing and uh, going to rest mode now. So um, we harvest that American plum. That is for, it's a real one for phlegm. So if there's any sort of phlegm and mucus and excessive stuff in the system, this will get it, get it out, lift it off the chest. Um, and um, yeah, really make it go. And um, for anything like asthma as well, it's an amazing plant. And um, there we have, so that's our American plum that we will use. And in springtime, that's the most beautiful little flowers. And if you go back on the videos and have a look at them, you'll see some of the little flowers there when we were talking about elder and that starts to come into leaf. Um, one of the other plants here that we have um, that we're going to har start harvesting as well, root, uh, is nettle and our incredible friend stringy nettle and the roots for that um, are it's, it's a diuretic and um, it's used as a uh, to bring down inflammation of the prostate and um, when there's problems like that for benign prostate problems and um, it will also and of course we have the nettle uh, seeds as well that we use it's an adrenal uh, restorative and a little bit of a stimulus uh, stimulant as well nettle seeds are but um it's yeah a great um, all parts of the plant can be used and that's what really excites me so much about herbalism and using plants and even if you're not practicing as a herbalist but being able to get some of the um, 
yeah, get some working with the plants and getting some of their energy, not just their medicine, but just spending some time with them, really sort of regenerates you, I find. Um, and so we have that, we have, um, here's our, one of our wild angelicas, you can see that, really beautiful. Um, that is gorgeous. And we have some of our Queen Anne's lace here, which is um, otherwise known as wild carrot. Uh, we talk about a lot of it. This is a great one for our skin. Um, skin it sort of promotes collagen production in the on the skin, so it restores vitality back to um, your your skin and elasticity. And um, here's our ginkgo. So that is doing very well. It's just about dropping its leaves as well, going into a nice winter sleep. Um, so many other things as well, guys, that we can uh, start harvesting from um, our elecapane, which is just here, this enormous leaf, um, which has got beautiful sunflowers, and that is again for um, the chest uh, and uh, the respiratory system it's used for, so the uh, root of that is used. So again, a time to be starting to harvest some of that. Another great plant that we're going to um, start using, and I've got it here in the pot, um, for reasons, it has got a huge amount of bad press, and it's still getting it. And you'll see it um, signs on along the uh, roadsides. There, it's Japanese knot we do not touch. Um, and so, so I have some here, and you can see all the leaves have just fallen off of it. And it's the root also that we use on this. So we start working with some of that as well. And it's an amazing uh, antioxidant and anti-inflammatory as well, and it's. Um, it helps in uh, inflammatory conditions where they uh, like meningitis, um, uh, shingles, Alzheimer's, and stuff. So we use uh, root, the roots for that, as along with lots of other things, um, HIV uh, and stuff. So um, another amazing plant, and that is what we'll be tinctoring as well. Soon, it's got amazing benefits. Um, and as we go through the garden, yeah, it's going to be, I think. Uh, a very busy winter. Um, I've just come in, for, uh, come out to the garden for a little break from making some soaps. Um, there's a huge production line I've got happening in there. So um, there's citrus soap, goat milk soap, there's olive oil soap. There's uh, a lot of it. So we other things that we teach here at the apothecary as well. So sort of almost self-sufficiency, you know. So it's really good. And here we have some of our beautiful nettle root, just to show you here that we start to harvest. It's that gorgeous golden bright yellow so you can imagine how beautiful um, that starts uh, smelling uh, when you start harvesting it and drying it and stuff like that and it's like rope almost so it's, um, metaphysically it sort of adds some uh, flexibility into the system so you can imagine that so it bends and it can be wrapped around and so um, anyway yeah so I'll be Heading back into the apothecary now very, very shortly and also to clean out the uh, storeroom as well where we have um, a lot of our bottles and jars and sort of like do a little um, inventory of what needs to be uh, used more of or produced more of. And I also the other day just got an incredibly huge, big, fresh bunch of um, Stellaria or chickweed um, that I found growing so as a real blessing, flowering and so vibrant. So um, a little late in the year for it, but it's um, if it's there, it's showing that we uh, need to use it, and uh, yeah, it would be very good. And we talked about chickweed as well uh, in another uh, video earlier on in the year. So, so without further ado, um, I'll start heading back in and uh, getting on to my little uh, production line, <laughs> and um, just. Get asking you all just to look out for your plants and sort of see um, what needs. Don't look at them as weeds, but as uh, an incredible part of our, of, uh, of, for want of a better word, sort of a strong infrastructure um, to your health. Um, so not only with the flowers that they actually can brighten you up and lift depression and um, heavy moods and stuff, but the flower essences which open up your energy field and sort of allow healing to. Uh, commence and uh, to enter your body and um, to the actual physical benefits as well of the plant so um it's and here's some talking about look at this calendula next to a huge comfrey 
and happiness there <laughs> with her sacral chakra and so bright orange so we um so yeah we'll uh, keep continuing and look out for the rest of our posts as well also we do have some uh, we do have a foundation course in herbalism that is beginning again in March that runs through until November and um, all going well and um, and we also have uh, our again all going well and uh, we'll see in the next couple of weeks and um, our Christmas market on this that's going to be here uh, at the apothecary so we'll have some tents up and um, yeah, you can walk through and there should be enough space so uh, with everything controlled um, and uh, not too much crowds but a small enough market for local artisans and sort of craft people and um, bakers or whatever you, um, whatever else goes into it and of course the herbalist apothecary will have their stall as well with um, all our products of our moisturizers, cleansers, toners, our fantastic soap that I'm making <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, so you can get all your favourite products uh, from us there, and that is on Sunday, the 2nd of December, between 2 o'clock and 6 o'clock. So, um, bring loads of money. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much for watching, and um, here's to a lovely, lovely, peaceful winter. And um, mind yourselves, and we will talk very, very soon. <laughs>